Okay, I'd like to think that I'm pretty on top of it when it comes to like photos or video footage of actors doing their screen tests, let alone doing screen tests in costumes. I'm the costume guy. I love cosplay. I love dressing up. I love the whole aspect of specialty costuming and prop building. And I love seeing actors in their first incarnation of a costume, like Mark One, like something completely different or sometimes a little bit different to what we see on screen as the final result. Case in point, Ben Affleck screen test as Batman, Gal Gadot screen test as Wonder Woman, Henry Cavill through various screen tests as Superman, which segues into Superman flyby. And something I have never seen before and the subject of today's video, Josh Hartnett's costume slash screen test as Superman for Superman flyby, which begs the question, would Josh Hartnett have made a good Superman? So before we get to talking about this glorious photo of Josh Hartnett in his Superman trunks, let's talk about the backstory of Superman Flyby, which ultimately became Superman Returns starring Brandon Routh. Flyby was written by J.J. Abrams and it was going to be directed by Brett Ratner. Ugh. And yeah, at one point, Josh Hartnett was considered for the role of the Man of Steel. We also had Jude Law considered for the Man of Steel. Henry Cavill even screen tested for the Man of Steel, as you can see right here, wearing a very different looking Superman costume than what we saw in Man of Steel, BVS, and Justice League. Now, Christopher Reeve was to be a project consultant, citing Tom Welling, who portrayed the teenage Clark Kent in Smallville as an idea. I had no idea about that either. That would have been so cool. And it's so cool and humbling that Christopher Reeve took it upon himself to be consultant saw what Tom Welling was doing in Smallville and said that's your guy now going back to Josh Hartnett and Jude Law supposedly they didn't get the roles because they were too popular they were too mainstream they wanted someone a little bit less known than those two which leads to this beautiful photo of Josh Hartnett in an old classic looking Superman costume for his screen test and costume test I have never seen this photo before and a massive shout out to my good buddy Ryan Unicorn for posting the photo and bringing it to our attention. Ryan's the guy that has all the scoops, he always has the goss and he always posts some glorious behind the scenes, never before seen photos and this is one of them. Now first and foremost, I love the look. I love the way he looks as Superman. Obviously, he's not jacked to the nines because he hadn't got the role. And usually when actors apply for the role of Superman, they, they go and screen test for the role. They are pretty weedy looking. I mean, who's going to start training and getting on the gear? What? If they haven't got the role, I mean, it's pointless. And going back to the suit, it's that beautiful classic looking suit that reminds me of the cartoon from the 30s and 40s, the ones that I used to have on VHS when I was a kid. And he's got the look down pat. He's got the jawline. I mean, look. Put it this way, as long as he didn't have a haircut like this when he played the Man of Steel, he's all right in my books. Now, like I said, ultimately he didn't get the role along with Jude Law because they were too mainstream. And what I love about Josh Hartnett is that he's renaissance recently. Like obviously he had his fame with Halloween H2O, the faculty and whatnot, and then he disappeared for a bit, started doing a lot of indie stuff. He's obviously renaissance with Oppenheimer, which I thought his performance was great, even though as Pretty subtle in terms of his appearance on screen, but when he was on screen, he always packed a punch and it was always straight to the point. And that begs the question, could Josh Hartnett have made a good Superman for Superman flyby? In my opinion, that time, that age, I don't think so, but stay with me here. After seeing his performance and appearance in Oppenheimer, stay with me again, I feel Josh Hartnett could have been an amazing Kingdom Come Superman. What do you think? Look, at the end of the day, Superman Flyby was a no-go. We ultimately got Superman Returns that was quite divisive. I have fond nostalgia for Superman Returns because it was filmed here in Sydney. My dad was an extra in the film, so it's very near and dear to my heart. It isn't a perfect film, but it's still a fun film. In terms of how Superman Flyby would have turned out, I think it would have been a lot darker than what we ultimately got with Superman Returns. But seeing photos like this and what could have been, it's always in your mind what could have been with a certain actor portrayed a certain character in a certain film. It could have been good. It could have been damn good. Josh Hartnett took his craft very seriously. He reminds me of a new generation Johnny Depp where he wanted to break away from that teenage heartthrob stereotype. And once again, I'm mentioning Oppenheimer, but his performance in Oppenheimer was great, which then leads me to believe he would have made a great older Kingdom Come Superman with the gray hair and that beautiful Kingdom Come suit. Either way, it's fun to speculate. It's fun to think about. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Love you guts. Catch you in the next one.